Welcome back everyone. So I've had a few people request for me to do a video on my release. Now, um, this, these videos you're seeing right here are about three weeks old. And I'm always trying different stuff in my release. Um, start different starting positions, different footwork. Um, so I'm going to break down each one a little bit um, over the last three weeks because I've changed a few things and some things I've noticed as I record it. On this shot, I set up with my slide foot facing the target and then my ball side foot parallel to that one, but I move it halfway back of the slide foot. And then I end up turning my slide foot three boards to the left so that my first step goes out. So it gives me space to clear my hips, which you'll see in a later video closer. And then my ball side arm is bent with the ball, my hand right under the, under the ball and the ball is actually facing my target so that when I place the ball or push away, I push away towards my target. My first two steps go out to the left and the third one actually ends up going out to the left as well. But as you can see, it kind of starts to turn back in because I loop back towards my starting position. So I really only drift maybe one or two boards. Sometimes I'm right on the place that I started with the left foot. My swing pretty much comes forward and back right on target. Um, I do come around the ball a little bit and partially that's because of my pitches when I was bowling two-handed um, and Mo Pinnell redid my pitches. He actually made it so I can come around the ball with the pitches because I was so far up the back of the ball. Um, but now I have to remember that and just come up the back of it because my hand is still going to re naturally rotate around it. The main part of it though is because my ball side shoulder actually rotates forward too much and too early so that's making my hand come around it as well. Here I'm just practicing some swing and slide drills and three step drills um, starting with my arm straight instead of bent um, because that's always felt more comfortable every time I go back and watch old videos it seems more fluid when I actually start with my arm straighter. As mentioned earlier here I am setting up for a foot up full approach. I set my slide foot parallel to my target line and then I make my right foot parallel to the slide foot and I move the toe about halfway back and then turn the slide foot three boards to the left so that my first step ends up going left. My ball side arm is straight on this one and my hand is under the ball with my non-ball side arm or hand kind of sitting on top of the ball. And instead of having the elbow to the side of me, it's kind of in front, kind of tucked in um, in front of my hip a little bit. I do have a little bit more forward tilt in my body here. Um, it just felt more comfortable that way. So then... When I start my approach, like I said, I go to the left the first couple steps, and same thing, the swing kind of goes parallel to my target. Now, just like starting with my ball side arm bent on the last videos, I noticed that um, my right shoulder or my ball side shoulder was still rotating around too quickly, so I was coming around it too much, and on with my arm starting straight, I was actually floating out of the ball and not really catching it at the bottom. So that ended up being an issue the last few weeks. I know a couple of people requested a side view as well. This is a side view of that same shot with my ball side arm starting off straight instead of bent. And one thing I noticed when recording this and going back through it is that I slide way too far. So I'm kind of leaned back as I release the ball and my timing is super early because I'm still sliding when the ball comes out of my hand, as you'll see. This actually gets worse, you'll see in the later video when I actually stand further back on the approach where I normally stand. Um, it is a whole lot worse, so I definitely need to start starting a little bit closer so that hopefully that will help correct that timing issue. Now here I have the same foot set up, but... As you see, my hand is turned more to the left, my ball side hand, and I'm actually placing the ball more towards the left instead of parallel to my target. 
Um, and I'm also focusing at the bottom to feel the ball coming off my fingers because like I said before, I noticed it was kind of just floating off and my ball was getting too far down the lane. So I was trying to make feel it coming off my fingers more um, to hopefully increase the rev rate a little bit so that it can match my speed a little more. Now on this, I ended up throwing it too far out. But um, as you see on the next video, I don't throw it out as far right. It's more on target. But basically, my swing is doing a little bit of a figure eight. Um, it's coming out a little bit more than before. And I did that to try to help drop the ball in from the top of the backswing so that I can come a little bit closer to my ankle. Um, and also, it changes my launch angle a little bit. What made me do this was um, Coach Joe Slowinski. I do believe he's a gold level USB-C coach. He has the DYDS biomechanical efficiency model. Um, and it's basically to get your swing to move the way the body is supposed to move and which is more biomechanically efficient for the body. Um, so I just, I've had the course for it for probably like three years um, from when I bowled with my thumb um, because I was looking for anything to help and now I'm kind of getting back into it again and he's actually coming out here in a couple months. So I'm probably going to do a coaching session with him as well um, to get better at it but as you'll see in the next set of videos and swings um, I try to implement that a little bit more and I'm probably going to be practicing that model a little bit more as well to try to get my swing to where I want it and where it's more efficient, especially since I don't have a thumb and, and I'm one-handed and my back swing is still pretty high. Um, so I'm trying to get it more efficient and consistent. So here I'm setting up the way that Coach Joe Slowinski's model suggests. Um, my left foot, I'm lining up parallel to my target and then my which is my slide foot and then my right foot which is my ball side foot I'm turning 30 degrees from my slide foot and then as you see I have a little bit more lateral tilt here and um, the balls kind of in front it's kind of towards my belly button um, this was how I started off because that's kind of how I ended my last practice session but as you see my left foot I'm doing a three step ends up going out on the first step just to clear space for the hips um, and I'm actually not coming around it as much doing that um, and also place the ball more to the left instead of parallel to my target um, so it still kind of gets to the top of the swing and is able to drop on the inside um, and throughout these videos, you'll see I play with different um, tilts on my torso, lateral and forward. Um, and also I go in between having my arm straight at the setup. And I also have my arm bent just to see which one feels more comfortable. On this one, I started with more forward and lateral tilt, which felt good. The only issue I had was that my second step um, the ball was actually in the way so I kind of had to as you see it looks a little funny on the second step to get my leg in front of the ball without hitting it or moving it um, so even though I felt more comfortable um, I'll probably have to start with my arm bent like I am on this one this one my arm is hard to tell because of my hoodie but my arm is actually more bent so that clears the ball out of the way of my leg so I can get my second step through cleaner. And here I'm going to do a side by side of those last two shots. The one on the left will be the one with my arm straighter and a little bit more um, tilt from my torso. And the one on the right is going to be with a little less tilt on my torso but with my arm bent. Now what I'm probably going to end up doing in my next practice is I'm marrying the two so I have a little bit more tilt in my torso but also bend my arm slightly so that 
it won't the ball won't be in the way of my um, second step um, and I do notice that the one on the right I don't come around it as much either um, but as we'll see on the next video from the side view um, I figured out why that's ha partially why that's happening and it's the super long slide which um, that's probably not I'm gonna end up having to move up a whole lot more um, even though my swing gets a little higher doing this it I don't need to slide as far as I've been sliding and so I can be up more on top of my slide leg instead of behind it so much and leaning back um, which will help me kind of place the ball down on the lane better I do know that I fouled on this one but hey it's just practice um, now if anyone has any tips or anything for me, definitely feel free to leave a comment on it. And if you guys want more videos like this, definitely comment and let me know or other things that you would like to see. Um, of course, from now on, they won't be this long as far as physical game goes. Um, or they shouldn't be because here I was just analyzing different types of swings that I've had in the last few weeks. Um, so... From here on out, they won't be this long, Just, but just let me know if there's anything else you would like to see, and I have a few more videos coming. In the pipeline right now, I have three ball reaction videos. For the brutal collision, I'm going to short pin a top speed, and I have the Envy Tour that comes out next month in February. Um, I'll have that as well. And I'll also be doing a ball selection video, like going more into the numbers and core shapes and which balls look good for two finger bowlers. Um, and then after that, um, I know in March, whenever I do the coaching session with Joe, Coach Joe Slowinski, I'll probably be doing a video on that as well. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.